Okay, today what I have planned is the beginning of a baby crib, which I kind of hand drew this. I saw an image of one somewhere, so so I just bought some cheap pine, and if it turns out nice, then I'll build one out of some kind of better wood. Maybe you cut the four corners. So I used cedar, easy to work with, uh, two by four, and. Uh, this is, seems like a good height to me. So the rail is going to be over here, easy to reach in for the baby. And uh, so this is what I have. First, we draw on a design. Okay, this is my rough draft. And uh, so I kind of draw it on lightly, and then I decide which pattern I want to go with. So I use a permanent marker afterwards. Okay, so there you have it. I have my design traced on the board. So this is what it's gonna look like. And if it's too tall, you could always chop a little off the bottom. So, voila. And the next step is you just cut those out, all four to be the same using a uh, jigsaw. Next thing, after you cut the first one, you trace, use it as a tracer piece, and uh, trace your design to the next three boards. So, uh, I usually like to clamp them, that way you get the same pattern every single time you get zero movement. So, clamp it down, trace with a permanent marker and just follow the lines. Uh, stay exactly on the lines because as a permanent marker it gives you an extra sixteenth of an inch or so maybe even I won't say an eighth but if you cut directly on the line and take the whole line off it should be exactly the same as this piece that you already cut use a belt sander and a palm sander and just send them down till they're perfect or as close as they could be, it's just wood. So uh, once you router everything and, and put it all together, it's gonna look perfect. So uh, do the best you can and just uh, sand it all down. So after your sanding is complete, you get this even. Each piece is uh, pretty much the same. So you don't have uh, one other than one different than the other. So if you look from an angle, all of these are lined up. I use the belt sander and a palm sander to finish everything off. Now if you have little pieces like cuts like this, you could use wood filler to fill them in. Same with the knots, you can put wood filler in. Uh, it depends what you're doing, if you're painting or staining. I'm making this paint grade, so it uh, doesn't matter. So I didn't want to make this pad too, too big. I lined them all up. You know, you have to make sure the top is perfect bottom is perfect. This is what I have. This is going to be my top row. This is going to be my bottom. And this space in between, which is 18 inches or uh, 15 and a half. I was going to do 16 to begin with. So 15 and a half inches is going to be my pickets. And all of these are marked. So you have consistency all throughout your uh, baby crib. And uh, let's, so my next part is pretty much just align everything the way you want it. So this is the bottom, this is going to be the top, and the pickets in between. And they're going to be at 15 and a half inches. So uh, that's the plan. So what you do is you cut everything, align everything, and uh, since you're having a new baby, you don't want any sharp edges. So you gotta make sure all the edges are routered. You have to use a router for everything. All the pickets, no sharp edges. This is fine because it's gonna be connected to the posts. Um, but try to take out all the rough edges. Okay, now after you router everything, all the edges, make sure everything's smooth. Uh, then, just line them up and uh, you're gonna be drilling 
holes for the quarter inch bell pins. And what we're going to do is two on each side. I was thinking of one, but there's a chance of twisting, so you know, pretty much one on each side, glue them, and do it throughout the entire uh, picket structure. So. So we go two on each picket throughout the entire baby crib. Okay, so now I got two of the smaller sections put together using these quarter inch dowels. And um, and I don't have all the fancy schmancy equipment. So voila, two sections are complete. And just continue with the two large sections left. Okay, now after you glue everything together, then you're gonna have to put notches into the posts as I did on this one. Uh, this is, uh, you're gonna have to do the same thing as on the pickets. Uh, put some dowels in, uh, I'd say three or four, and two on top. And then same with this on the sides, so you could dowel everything together. And this is what it looks like all routered so for this side and for the tabs for that piece here you put this whole thing together and uh, this is what it will look like before the paint uh, I don't have any of the fancy straps that you guys like to use all the wood shop guys um, but this is what it looks like before the paint and before I put the floor in.